everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to our Book a Day series featuring Asian American children's books. Today's interactive read aloud is going to be about cooking. My friends, do you like to cook? What kinds of things do you like to cook? Ooh, and what would you say your best dish is, the best thing that you cook? That sounds delicious. I wish I could taste that. All right, well, in today's story, we are going to be reading about a little girl, Amy Wu, who cooks and makes the perfect bao. And if you look at the title, here's a picture of a big bao. Can you say the word bao? Bao is a Chinese steamed bun. So it's like a little bun. This is like a little bread bun. And on the inside is a filling that's either sweet or savory. And if it's savory, that means it's usually some kind of meat. And if it's sweet, sometimes it has like sweet beans on the inside. So it's this little bread bun with some stuffing on the inside. And they call it a bao. And this little girl, Amy Wu, is going to be trying to make the perfect bao. My friends, do you have a dish that you make that you try to make it perfect every single time? Or maybe you already do make it perfect every single time. What dish is it? Ooh, that one sounds so good also. Well, Amy's making bao. And my friends, have you ever eaten a bao before? If you have, what do you think? They're pretty good, right? It's like this soft outside. It's got this delicious feeling. It is delicious. If you have not tried one before, I recommend maybe trying one out. It's always good to try new foods. And if you don't like it, at least you tried. And if you love it, you have a great new snack. Well, bao is a special Chinese food, and we're going to be learning in this book about how to make one. And at the end of the book, there's even a recipe about how to make it yourself in real life if you wanted to. So I suggest maybe you could do that at the end of this story. That'd be a fun activity to do that goes along with the book. Now, before we get started, let's take a sneak peek at the back of our reading studio because we have some ingredients to share today. All right, so back here, let's take a look. We have over here. My little kitty buddy, because if you saw on the cover of our book in Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow, she has a little cat friend. So I brought my little cat buddy with me too. My friends, if you want to go get a cat stuffy, if you have a cat stuffy or a little cat toy or any other kind of stuffy that you want as your reading buddy today, you can go ahead and pause the video and go grab yours. So pause if you'd like. All right, let me see your reading buddy if you grabbed one. So cute. So I have my little kitty cat reading buddy, just like Amy Wu has her cat, who is going to be with her in the story. And also back here, you'll see some ingredients. And these ingredients are ingredients that we're going to read about in the book. Can you say the word ingredients, my friends? Ready? Three, two, one. Ingredients. Ingredients are the things that you use to make a dish or to make something that you cook. Ingredients are all the different parts that you put in what you're making, what you're cooking. So one thing that we're going to read about is garlic. My friend sums up if you've heard of garlic before. Have you eaten garlic? Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. Do you like it or you don't? I like garlic. It has kind of a strong taste, but it's delicious. Maybe you've had it on garlic bread or something. So they're going to talk about garlic. They're also going to use salt and pepper. So I have some salt and pepper shakers. I'm sure you've used salt and pepper before, right? Yeah. So salt and pepper adds a lot of flavoring. And they also are going to use this, and it's called ginger. So my friends, have you heard of ginger before? Maybe you've heard of gingerbread. So ginger also has its taste, and they're going to use the ginger and the garlic and the salt and pepper and some meat and stuff and chop it up to make the bao. So we'll get to learn a little bit about how they make it in the book. Also brought back here a mixing bowl, this little red mixing bowl, because you got to have something to mix all your food in when you're cooking and stirring, right? <laughs> Thinking about your favorite dish that you like to make or your favorite thing to cook, my friends, what are some ingredients that you use to make your thing that you cook? So ingredients, the different items that you use to make your dish. Yeah, those are great ingredients. No wonder your dish tastes so good. Okay, well, if you're ready, if you have your reading buddy with you and you're ready to get started, give me a double thumbs up. Okay, let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow. Written by Kat Zing and illustrated by Charlene Chua. 
So that means that Kat Zing wrote all the words and Charlene Chua drew all of the pictures we are about to see. Remember, so two different names, author, illustrator, work together to make one book. And I'm just looking at the cover here and the pictures look super cute already. What do you notice going on on the cover? Nice noticing. I see a little girl up here and who does she got next to her? Looks like her kitty cat, her pet cat. And what is she sitting on? We kind of mentioned it earlier. A bow, right? So this is what a bow looks like. It kind of looks like a big bow. You notice what color is the dough or the little bread part on the outside? White. And you can't see the filling because it's inside in the middle of it. And I noticed kind of she's on the clouds, right? That's kind of magical. And thinking about this title, Amy Wu in the perfect bow. It sounds like she is trying to make the perfect dish, the perfect bow. I wonder if it's going to be easy for her or if it's going to be hard for her to make it. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Well, let's read along and find out what happens with this perfect bow. So I'm seeing here, my friends, this page that comes before our title page, and they're telling us how to say the word bow. Because if you've never had a bow before, you might not know how to say that word, B-A-O, bow. Can you spell that with me? Just three letters, B-A-O. Ready? Three, two, one. B-A-O spells bow, the little dumpling, the little steamed bun. And right here on this page, I see a bunch of bows, huh? So right here, Kitty Cat is saying, Bow, like bow, like bowing down, not like bow, like a bow that you wear, right? It's bow, like you're bowing. My friends, can you give me a bow? Yes, so that's how you pronounce it, B-A-O, bow. Now here's our title page. So I see the title of our book, Amy Wu in the Perfect Bow. It has our author and illustrator. And down here, it also has our publisher, Aladdin Book. So the company that helped print the book and put it all together to sell. Now I'm looking at this big picture here on the title page and who do you see here? Looks like Amy Wu and what is she looking at? The perfect bow. Ooh, looks pretty perfect to me. And here is our friend Amy Wu. Hmm. Amy can do a lot of things. And just by looking at this picture, what are some things that Amy can do? Amy can do handstands. My friends, thumbs up, thumbs down. Can you do handstands? She can brush her teeth. Can you do that? I can do that. And she can tie her shoe. I can do that. Remember this sign, if you put out your pinky and your thumb and go like this, this also means I agree or yes, I can too. So she can brush her teeth, she can tie her shoe, and she can even do both at once. <gasps> Sort of. <laughs> My friends, can you tie your shoes and brush your teeth at the same time? That'd be a super fun thing to try. Maybe next time you're brushing your teeth at night, you can try that. Try to tie your shoe while you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> How does Amy do it? Looks like she brushes her teeth with one hand and then she tries to tie her shoe with one hand. And I'm thinking, that's pretty hard to tie your shoe with one hand. But it looks like she has a little helper, huh? Who's helping her out? Her little cat friend. But, oh, there's that word again. Tells me that something's going to be a little different. But there's one thing Amy cannot, cannot do. And what do you think that is? She cannot make the perfect bow. Oof. So. Seems like that is the one thing she cannot do. My friends, is there one thing that you just cannot do? No matter how many times you try, maybe? Yeah, well, seems like that's how Amy is with trying to make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small. <gasps> Look how small it is. And my friends, looking at this picture, what clue does it have that tells me that her bow is super small? Yeah, it's so small, Aunt is carrying it. And sometimes they come out too big. Ooh, and looking at the picture, how do I know it's too big? Right, it's bigger than her hands. It looks like she has a hard time holding it, right? 
Oh my goodness, in here it looks like there are three different bows she tried to make, but none of them are perfect. And if I take a look, my friends, what do you think looks wrong with them? Sometimes she adds too much filling. Oh, look, it's popping out from the top. Sometimes not enough. Can you even see the filling in this one? Looks empty. And the cat's like, what? And sometimes, oh, what's wrong with this one? It's not even sticking together, right? And sometimes they fall apart before they even reach her mouth. Oh, so she's trying to eat it and then crumble, crumble, crumble. Aw, oh, man. Amy's mom and dad, though, they make perfect bow. So does her grandma. Their bow are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Mmm. <gasps> so look at how theirs look, my friends. How do theirs look different than Amy's? Yeah, they look like they're not too small, they're not too big, they're closed at the top, there's not stuffing spilling out, but they look like they got a good amount of stuffing in them. What is Amy doing over here? Looks like she's eating a bunch of bow. Amy could eat them all day. She could eat bow all day, and sometimes she does. <laughs> Looks like she is hanging out, and I see there's a sign on her door that says, Do not disturb. So that means don't come in. Don't bother me, because what is she doing? She's eating all the bow, right? Mm -mm -mm. This makes me hungry for some bow. My friends, what is a snack that you love so much that you could eat all day long? Wow. I really love fruit, my friends. I could eat fruit all day long, especially mangoes. Today, though, Amy is going to do it. She is going to make the world's most perfect bow. Bow making is an all-day event. And if I look over here, it looks like she has a plan, my friends. Look at her plan. What is her plan? What is she thinking she's going to do to make the perfect bow? She's got a whole lot going on in her plan, huh? Looks like she's got some ingredients here, like this plus this equals the dough here. And then she goes here and, oh, good job, Amy, she says to herself. Then she's making it. And then the best bell in the world, rainbows, happiness, yum, 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 eat it. <laughs> good plan. Amy's dad starts in the morning mixing together all the ingredients for the dough. So the dough's outside the white bread part. So get your bowls out and pretend to mix, 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 mix. Since it takes all day, you have to do that part first. It sounds like you make the dough first in the morning. So after they make the dough, here's the next part. Then it's time to knead, knead, knead. He pushes the dough, he punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. So my friends, kneading is when you take the bread dough and then you punch it and you squeeze it and you mush it and mash it. My friends, can you pretend? Pretend you have a big piece of dough in your hand and punch it and mash it and smush it and push it. Pretend you're kneading the dough. So Nice job. It's like you're kneading bow dough. So Amy gives it a try. Then they leave the dough to rise and Amy watches it just in case. My friends, have you ever made bread before? If you made bread from scratch, this is going to sound familiar, right? You mix the dough, you knead the dough, then you wait for it. And the dough has this special thing in it called yeast and it rises, right? The dough is going to get bigger if you just leave it for a little bit. It's pretty cool to watch. And as she's watching it, it grows bigger and bigger and even bigger. Ooh, perfect. And then Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. So my friends, take your hands and squish down. Squish. He rolls it into a log and then cuts it into pieces. So get your knives out and pretend to cut, 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 cut. Awesome cutting. Meanwhile, here's Amy's mom and what is she doing? She's in the kitchen and Amy's mom is seasoning the meat for the filling. So I see here that here are all the ingredients that she's using for the filling. And it looks like these are some of the ingredients that we had in the back in our reading studio. So Amy's mom uses garlic, like we have, mushrooms, ooh, mushrooms, pepper and salt, and ginger right here. So she's taking some meat and she's mixing all of these things in it. Mm. Sounds like this one's going to be a savory bow, right? Not a sweet one. And then, so after they make the dough, they knead the dough, they let it rise, they make the filling. What's the next step now? 
Yeah, it looks like they're stuffing the bow. Now they're putting the filling inside the dough. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. So, oh, roll up your sleeves, my friends. We're going to pretend to make some bow. It's time to get to work. But Amy's first bow turns out a little funny, and so does the second one. What looks a little funny about this one? Yeah, it looks like the top isn't closed, and her second one's not going so well. Is she making the perfect bow yet? Well, it's hard to know how much filling to add. Too little, and the bow is sad and empty. Too much, and oops, what happens if there's too much? It all spills out, right? But who feels happy about that? Cat's okay with that, right? It's also hard to pinch the bow shut just right. So at the top, after you fill it, my friends, you have to pinch the top so it closes. And how does Amy feel about pinching it? Looks like it's hard, right? And right here it says pinch, pinch, pinch. My friends, can you take your hands and give a little pinch, 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 pinch? Yeah, looks like that part's kind of hard for Amy. But does it look hard for mom, dad, and grandma? Nope, looks like it's pretty easy for them. They're already done and theirs look perfect. Amy watches her mom make a perfect bow. She watches her dad make a perfect bow. And her grandma, too. Well, I see Amy's big head right here. And how does she feel right now? She looks frustrated, right? Why might she be frustrated? Because everyone's making a perfect bow, but her. They all try to teach her, roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. So pretend you're rolling out the dough. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. And pinch, 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 Amy's grandma says. But, my friends, hasn't Amy been doing all of those things? That's what she's been trying to do, but is it working? <sighs> but Amy's bow just aren't the same. My friends, can you point to which ones are Amy's? How can you tell those ones are Amy's and not her family's? Yeah, right, because what's wrong with this one? This one's too empty, not enough filling, so it's skinny. This one's too fat. What did she do wrong for this one? Too much filling. And they have holes in them. They leak. What step did she maybe not get right for this one? Pinching. Maybe today won't be the day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make the perfect. Out. How is Amy feeling now? Sad, right? My friends, do you think she'll ever be able to make the perfect bow? I hope so, because it seems like she really wants to. What do you think is going on here? Looks like Amy has an idea. What do you think her idea is? I'm taking a look at the pictures, might give me a hint. Good prediction, my friends. Good guess about what's going to happen. Then Amy has an idea. The pieces of dough were cut for grown-up hands. But Amy's hands are very small. That must be why she's looking at her hands. So she whispers her idea into Grandma's ear. Hmm. And Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller size pieces. Amy's size pieces. Wait, so what was Amy's idea? She thinks the bow they were making were too big for her, right? She couldn't pinch it with her hands and she couldn't stuff it in her hands because they were too big for her. It wasn't the right size. So what does she do instead? What does Grandma help her do? She helps her make smaller pieces. <gasps> That's a good idea, huh? Now they fit perfectly in Amy's hands. So, what are the steps that Amy takes to make her bow, my friends? What does she do first, next, and then next? So, carefully, Amy rolls the dough so it's thicker on the inside and thinner at the edges. Oh, so you want it thin on the edges and thick in the middle. She adds just the right amount of filling. Not too much, not too little. And she pinch, pinch. Pinches. So my friends, take your hands. Pinch, pinch, pinches. It shut. So she pinches it shut. And oh, what did she make? Oh, is it the perfect bow? And there it is. Amy's perfect bow. Dun, 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 dun. 
My friends, it looks like she made the perfect bow. How did she do that? What was her idea that helped her out again? She just needed smaller pieces. So Amy never gave up, right? She was frustrated, but then she came up with a new idea to help her out. And then, what does Amy do? She makes a lot more, huh? She makes another, and another, and even more after that. She's a bow-making master. And how does Amy feel now? Why does she feel like that now? Because she found out how to make the perfect bow. She reached her goal, what she wanted to do. Soon, all the dough and filling are done. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. What do they still have to do, my friends? What do you think they have to do still? Hmm. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. So boil means make it really hot so it starts bubbling and steaming. It's time to steam the bow. So steam means to put a lot of hot air around it to help it cook. So this is how they cook it. They don't put it in the oven. They don't boil it in the water. They steam it. They use the hot air coming from the hot water to heat it up and cook it. And if I'm looking at the pictures here, what do they use to cook the bow in? Yeah, it looks like they have this special wooden basket that they put on top of the hot water so that the steam rises up. Do you see the steam? The steam rises up. With your hands, you can show the steam rising up. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer just in case because she wants her bow to turn out perfect, right? All her perfect bow and all the imperfect ones, too, are snug inside. So all her bow are in there. And now the bows are done. Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer and whoosh! My friends, can you say that with me? Three, two, one, whoosh! Ooh. Out comes a puff of steam, whoosh! Amy can't see anything at all. My friends, has that ever happened if you opened like a pot or something and then a poof of steam comes up and you can't see anything because there's all this white steam and maybe it even fogs up your glasses or your eyes a little bit? Yeah, the hot air can sometimes make it hard to see. The steam clears and there are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small. And if I look at the words here, small is written really small. And they are not too big. And big is written big. And they have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. Sounds perfect, huh? They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious means they taste so Good. My friends, thumbs up if you want to eat a bow right now. I definitely want to be eating a bow right now. Amy eats one. And then another. She eats one of the not so perfect bow. And you know what? What do you think, my friends? How do you think the not so perfect bow tastes? And you know what? It tastes just as good. Wait. So even though it's not perfect, it still tastes just as good as the perfect one? Hmm. So even though it might not look perfect, it still tastes just as good, right? So does your bow have to look perfect for it to taste good too? No, right? Amy wanted it to look perfect because it was a challenge for her. But even if it doesn't look exactly perfect, my friends, because you made it and you tried hard and used all the right ingredients, probably still tastes good. There's no words on this page, my friends, so you get to tell the story, kind of like in Drawn Together, that book we read a few days ago. What is going on here? Yeah, I see our friend Amy here, and what is she holding? A box of bow, and my friends, do all of those bow look like perfect bow? No, right? Like if I look close, it looks like some of them are stuffed too much, right? Because the fillings come out or some of them look kind of small, maybe not enough filling. But does she care? No, uh because what is she doing? Looks like she's passing them out to her friends to try, even the ones that aren't perfect. And how do her friends feel about that? Yeah, how can you tell? Do they care that the bow don't look perfect? How do you know? 
because they're so happy and eating them anyways, right? And that was so kind of Amy to bring her back to school and to share them with all of her friends because they made so many. My friends, have you ever made something and brought it to friends or to school to share? Yeah, what did you make and share? Yeah, and how did your friends feel when you shared that with them? Did they like what you made? Yeah, I'm sure they did. And, oh, here's Cat Buddy, and what is he doing? He even has a bow, too. And here is where there's the recipe of how to make bow. If you wanted to try and make it out yourself, you can go ahead and pause here if you want to. And take a look at the recipe and you can follow the recipe if you pause the video here and look at it. And maybe you could make your own bow, my friends. And if you do make your own bow, please let me know and show me, my friends. You can let me know in a comment. You can email me. You can show me on Instagram, Facebook, on the blog. All those social media links are down below. Share with me your own cooking adventures or your own bow adventures. That would be so fun. All right, my friends, what a delicious interactive read aloud this was. We got to learn a little bit of how to make bow, and we followed Amy's adventure of finding the way to make the perfect bow. She had a goal in mind to make the perfect one, and she, even when she was frustrated, she didn't give up. She thought of a new idea to help her make the perfect one, but in the end, she realized that even if they weren't so perfect, they were still great, huh? What was your favorite part? Yeah, right. I loved all the parts where we got to kind of act along and cook along with them. And the end when she made the super fluffy, delicious ones make me so hungry to try a bow myself or to just go get a snack. So if you had a reading snack, lucky you. That was a good book to have a snack for. So my friends, I know that while some of us are at home still because schools are closed, that a lot of us might have been cooking a lot more because now there's maybe more time to cook. Have you been cooking a lot more? Well, maybe today after reading this story, you can cook something with a family member. My friends, do you cook by yourself or do you cook with someone in your family or someone who lives with you? Yeah, who do you cook with? Well, maybe today or tomorrow or sometime this week, you and your cooking buddies can cook something. What do you think about that? Do you think you'll cook something this week? Yes or no? What do you plan on cooking? What do you think you'll make with your cooking buddy? Ooh, those sound delicious. I'd love to hear about your cooking adventures and hear how they go. All right, well, that brings us to the end of today's reading adventure. Remember, a craft will come out for this story soon. So to keep updated, check back in on this video in the description or check on my social media accounts and I always update when new crafts come out. Well, tomorrow is the last reading adventure in our Book a Day series for this week, and it's also going to have a little bit to do about cooking. A large part of cultures is cooking, so that's why some of these books have to do with food. So I hope you can join me tomorrow for our new reading adventure, my friends. Be sure to subscribe to my store big YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button to find out when all of our new reading adventures come out and to join us for all of them. But until then, I hope you enjoy some cooking fun with your family. Stay safe and healthy and enjoy some reading adventures of your own. And until tomorrow, happy reading.